after one and a half hour we stop the reaction and remove the magnetic bead we wash the magnetic bead with ethyl acetate then we are transferring the reaction mixture in the separating funnel then we are taking a small amount of ethyl acetate in a measuring cylinder We are washing the RB flux. And transferring it to the separating funnel. Then remove the funnel. Tap the separating funnel and shake the separating funnel vigorously and release the pressure after each shaking. Now open the stopper and allow to form two layers. You can see two layers. Collect the bottom across layer in a conical flask. Be careful, otherwise the organic layer will also come with the aqueous layer. Now we are measuring 20 ml of sodium bicarbonate solution. We are adding the bicarbonate solution in the organic layer to remove the unreacted acid which is formed during the reaction. We are checking the separating funnel. Wait to separate the two layers. Now collect the aqueous layer.
we are repeating the bicarbonate wash part we are measuring 20 ml of sodium bicarbonate solution adding the bicarbonate solution to the organic layer Keeping the separating final vigorously. We are collecting the aqueous part in the same conical flask. Then we are collecting the organic layer in another conical flask. Now we are adding anhydrous sodium sulfate to the organic solution. Anhydrous sodium sulfate is widely used as an inert drying agent for removing traces of water from organic solution. Wait for some time. This is the final TLC after workup where we can see the starting material is completely consumed. Now we are transferring the organic part to a RV flux using a funnel. In the funnel you can see that we put some cotton which is helping to filter the organic part from the sodium sulfate. Now we are arranging the sodium sulfate with fresh ethyl acetate. We are arranging again. We should do two three times the arranging. Now we are evaporating the organic solvent in a rotary evaporator to get the crude product. After evaporation, we kept the RV for overnight drying 
and next day we are checking the yield of the reaction so we are transferring the compound from the RV flux to a owing paper and checking the weight The weight of the product is 1.226 gram. For recrystallization of the product, we took a small amount of the product benzophenone in a dry test tube. Then we took a small amount of hexane to resolve the compound. We need to shake the test tube. To dissolve the compound. But the compound is not dissolved. So we are heating the test tube in a water bath now we can see the solution is clear now we keep the clear solution in a test tube bag at room temperature for some time we can see the benzophenon crystals in the test tube. This is the view of the benzophenon crystals under microscope. Now we are checking the melting point of the product. So we are taking the sample in a capillary tube. Drop the capillary tube through a long hollow tube. Now the sample is packed properly. Then we are switching on the melting point apparatus and inserting the capillary tube into the heating oil through a slot. Turning on the starter and heater, we set the final temperature at 150 degrees centigrade. For the clear view of the tube, we hold one hand back side of the heating chamber we can see the sample started melting we noted the temperature that is 47 degrees celsius the sample is melted completely so the melting point range is 47 degree to 49 degree centigrade 